We've got a DV6000 special edition. The same problem happens to the DV2000, the DV2, the DV6000, the DV7, the DV9000, and many more laptops. The problem is it has an NVIDIA graphics chip on the motherboard. It needs to be reflowed. So if you light it up and it has no video, there's a good chance that your motherboard needs to be reflowed. Right. Once we remove the motherboard, we put aluminum tape around the chip. There is other chips on the board. That's the one you want to reflow. It says NVIDIA on it. Almost all laptops have NVIDIA chips. For some reason, they wind up with this problem. I can name 30 off the top of my head laptops to do this. The most well known are the DV series from HP. You can use regular aluminum or uh, cut out pop cans, just anything to protect the other components. We want to heat up this chip, we don't want to overheat it. If you see something smoking, it's not the motherboard. It is the glue on the bottom of my tape. This is a reflow machine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. And once it's on, we're going to hit this button. It turns on the gun. And it, it, it'll usually heat up to about 100 degrees on its own. Once it's there, we want to slowly go up to 360 degrees. We want to move this reflow gun, I'd say about an inch and a half, two inches away from the chip. Most people preheat these motherboards before they do this. As long as you don't overheat it, it won't warp it. I preheated this one before I put it on here. Uh, most people use a regular old griddle you could buy to cook food with at Walmart. I'm going to go up to, uh, say, 228, whatever. Let it get warm. This is your air pressure here. I got it set to 50. Just go up. I mean, this method works for me. Other methods might work for other people. Solder's uh, melting point, usually around 360 degrees. So we just want to get it warm enough to reseat the solder joints. I'm going to go up to 300 degrees now. Now I'm going up to 325, 330. See the glue melting on the bottom of that tape. It's not hurting anything at all. It's just smoking a little bit. I'm going to shoot it up to 360 now. Heating that chip at 360 degrees. I've got about a 90% success rate. Some of them you just can't save this way. If you wanted to do it completely, you would have to reball it. You're talking about a whole nother machine, and that's a whole nother fix. But it's a guaranteed 100% fix if you're going to reball the chip. All right, now I want to back this gun up a little bit. And I want to cool down. I'm going to take my temperature down. I'm going to take it off immediately. A little trick that I do. I'm going to take the heat down some. I'll show you another trick that I do. I, don't, I just do it. Obsessive compulsive. I don't know if it helps at all. Go ahead and hit the cool down button on the machine. And to take the heat off slowly. Raise up the gun. Pull the motherboard off. 
sometimes I'll take the back of my screwdriver I'll just press just slightly and that's the reflow one other thing is if you don't put thermal compound new thermal compound on your processor then this is just a temporary fix before you put this back together you want to clean all that purple junk off of the back of that heat sink you want to clean the back of that real well put new arctic silver on the back of there and uh, put it back together you should be ready to rock once you're done and you put it back together plug it in turn it on like I said you got a 90% chance with that method you just wait for it it pops up you got video you got a good laptop again try and keep it cool you might need to get a uh, cooling pad to put it on because these things when they get hot they don't like it one bit especially when it's got an NVIDIA chip